Also klar. Hello everybody, Milo Tarjovic here and this is Instagram Q&A. First question we have from James Batchelor. How are you adjusting to life in England? Mm, quite easy, I think. Uh, but what I'm used to in Denmark, Sweden, what I've been trying there, then the weather is almost the same and everything. So, so the weather and everything is nice. And yeah, of course, at the beginning, I had to come in on the team and adjust like in that way with the with the level and everything. But I feel like I, yeah, I'm I'm getting there. Will eighteen eighty one wants to know what's the difference between the English league and the other leagues that you played in. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely the like I said, the level is much, much, much higher. The physical part also, so but um, yeah, the technical part, everything is just is just on a higher level. So. And Kieran Pandya wants to know what you think of being called the Hertfordshire Harlem. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't heard it myself. The people are calling me that, but if they think it's funny, and uh, that, then it's fine by me. Lexan one 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 two wants to know if you have pineapple on your pizza. <laughs> no, I never. Sunday Burger 06, who do you look up to? This can be in life or football, I guess. Yeah, Zlatan Ibrahimovic maybe, and then also uh, Ronaldo. Cristiano or Arnold? Cristiano. What was the biggest challenge with going up to championship from Als Veskan? This guy's Instagram handle is actually Ryovic Z, so it's a fan account. No, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but like I said, I've said many times, <clears throat> just yeah, everything, every aspect of the game is just much higher here. So, so to get in on the team and yeah. Me underscore zero wants to know if you like Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, maybe sometimes I, I can listen to her sometimes. Babe. Nice. Know any of the songs? No, no. no. Oh, then you put me under pressure. <laughs> they want to know where you see yourself in five years. Oof, that's yeah, five years. That's that's a long time. Uh, yeah, hopefully maybe playing it, playing the Premier League with Watford, hopefully. And Danish national team? Hopefully also, yeah, the Danish national team would also be, uh, would also be, uh, what is it called? A dream, exactly. <laughs> a dream. How is it to go from the Danish third division to the championship in under two years? Uh, of course, first of all, it's been, it's been uh, quite a journey. It's been nice. Um, but yeah, I always just try to, just to put the extra percent every day and then, yeah, to come here. Um, so yeah, it's just been hard work and uh, yeah. Who's your best friend in the team? Ooh, uh, I feel like I talk to a lot of the guys, but maybe I talk good to Ken. We're also sitting next to each other in the dressing room. Miles also. Yeah, I feel like I talk to, to a lot of the guys, but maybe Ken. Does that Swedish and Danish, is like the Nordic thing? Yeah, I thing think so, help? maybe the, 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 <laughs> the Nordic thing up there. So yeah, we can talk, we can talk to each other. Um, Harry Hawker wants to know what your dream five-a-side team would be. Mm, maybe Buffon on goal, Ramos in the back. Then obviously Messi and Ronaldo in the top. And then a midfield, oh, who could that be? Maybe Zidane. Bautista Cataro wants to know your reasons for coming to Watford. Yeah, I feel like uh, the plan there is here and everything, the way when I was talking to, to the Gaffa and everything, it just felt like it was, it just felt right. So, so when I heard like everything around the club and everything, it was just, yeah, it felt right and then, then I wanted to come in. And Josh Parker, triple nine, what's the trick for getting in the right positions to be there to score the goals? Yeah, I think the connection with the, with the rest of the team, to know where they want to play the ball and then obviously to, to try to move the defenders. If you, want them to, if you want to go one way, try to make them go the other way. So make some movements in, inside the box and then, yeah, again, the connections with the rest of the team. Of course, you, you also train on it, but I also feel like a lot of it is also instinct. Um, but of course, you, you get that instinct also with a lot of training. So which, if you've done it 100 times in training, then obviously at the end, you, it, was just, it would just be there. Was there any other position in football you ever played? Did you ever experiment as a centre-back or anywhere else? Always striker? I was a wing when I was young. When I was younger, yeah, but it was not my position, so <laughs> it's better to get up on there and be as a striker. Thomas Levy wants to know the highlight or slash best moment of your career so far. Best, yeah, maybe coming here has been the has been the top of my my career so far. And then if I have to put something like a, a thing on it, maybe maybe the goal against Birmingham. I feel like that was a that was a top thing in, in the career. Yeah, the the, back, <laughs> the goal with the back of the head. I feel like that was a, that was a nice goal and an important goal also. So so maybe that. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? One kind of food? Pizza. Pizza, <laughs> yeah. but no pineapple. No pineapple, but pizza. <laughs> if you weren't a footballer, what would you have been? <laughs> I don't know, maybe a tattoo artist. 
Our tattoo artist. Wow. Well, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for watching my Instagram Q&A.